What's up, friends? I'm Josh, and welcome back to the TCNR Network for another long-awaited Scream 5 update where we finally have our first looks at the film. Alright, so over the last few weeks, I have been MIA. Number one, life has been crazy AF. I'm just gonna uh, talk in letters today. And there hasn't been a whole heck of a lot of Scream 5 news. I have some speculatory, I think that's a word, speculatory videos coming out soon with some various theories that some people have left in the comment section of my videos that I have never thought of but actually sound really, really cool. So I'm gonna be talking a little bit about those in the coming weeks. But we did get a few little inside looks over the last couple of days. Before I get to that, Make sure you like, you subscribe, you comment. It's always so fun to talk to you guys in the comment section, but definitely subscribing makes such a huge difference and I'm trying real hard to get to my 1,000 subscribers. Most of you probably already know that Fangoria is going to be releasing some sort of interview with the Radio Silence team, the team behind the new Scream. So we don't know when exactly we're going to see that. It's coming out in July, but a lot of the times these online magazines or physical magazines release that, that, um, <clears throat> that month's version uh, two weeks early a little bit. You know, like Vogue will release their July edition in June. I don't know why it works like that, but that's how it's done. So from here on out, we, we could see Scream News basically anytime. I would love to see some photos, some official photos in that Fangoria uh, interview or whatever the heck it's going to be. Beyond that, over the last few days, we've got a little bit of an inside look. They just completed scoring the film with a live orchestra, which I love. Not all films do that. Sometimes it's, you know, all made in a studio with the electronic equipment. They did the whole live orchestra situation, and we've been getting a few Instagram and Twitter posts that reveal a little bit of information. So the first picture we're going to look at is this one from Tyler Gillette. Gillette. Why do I still not know how to say his name? The caption says, picture locked. I promise it will be worth the wait. Hashtag scream. Here we see a studio that is overlooking the orchestra and they've got the film, what we assume is Scream 5, playing. You know, they're, while they're, the orchestra is playing their music, they're trying to make sure everything matches up with the film as they do. And we get our first look at what I think is a group of kids a group of teenagers, I'm assuming, because the cast is relatively young and we assume they're playing high school students. Let's just say the main cast, what well, looks like a kitchen, standing in a kitchen. It kind of looks very similar to Scream 4, the climax where they're all at Kirby's house. And I don't, I mean, you can't really make out anything else, literally nothing else, but it looks, looks like Scream. <laughs> the next one is from Matt Bettinelli Open, and it is the score of the ghost faced music. So it appears Ghostface is finally getting his own theme, kind of like Michael Myers. You know, when whenever Michael Myers comes onto the screen, there's that infamous Halloween theme that we immediately associate with Michael Myers. And it would be super cool to see Ghostface get his own version of that. This has to be done very, very, very well for it to actually work. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed. And if I knew how to read music or play music, I would play those, uh, what, 12... 14 notes, but I have no idea. Moving on to Brian Tyler's post. He posted a video of himself with the orchestra about to conduct. And in the background, we see that there is Dewey with his infamous Dewey mustache. He looks like Dewey. This is our first real, very clear, concise look at Scream 5 where we know what we're looking at, you know? We don't have to guess. And I mean, it's Dewey, like what else What else can I say? But it's still exciting to see what Scream 5 is actually gonna look like. They, they said picture's done, so I would imagine this is color graded and everything's complete. It looks again like Scream. Now the final image that I wanna talk about, I don't know where it came from. I'm getting it from uh, Hello Sydney and Universal Panico. That's my beautiful Spanish. Um, and I don't, 
know where this came from. It's the same the same studio that's overlooking the orchestra where they are working on the score, but this is a something different is on the screen. A brunette. At first, I thought it was three different ghost face, but I, now I think it's just light in the background. But I was like, oh, three ghost face, OMG. And then I realized, oh, there's a person in there. Some people are saying Sydney, Gail. I think it looks like Melissa Barrera, Sam Carpenter, right? Sam? Tara. Sam. Yes, she's playing Sam. And it looks dark, it looks moody, it looks, again, like Scream. Like, all of these images that we're getting that we can barely make out, they look very, very similar to the OG, the OG look of Scream that came out in 1996, which is what we all want. But we're like, what, seven months away from the release, so things are gonna start coming out. We know that Paramount is hosting its very own CinemaCon sort of situation in Las Vegas. I'm not far from Vegas, so I'm like, how can I get invited to that? Can I buy tickets? Some people are speculating that they are going to screen the actual film there for a select group of people, which would be dope so we can finally find out some stuff. But things are gonna start coming out. We're gonna have a lot more information soon, which means I'm gonna be making a lot more videos. Plus I've been working on something very, very, very special called Welcome to Woodsboro that I think you guys are going to love. It is an insane amount of work, like crazy amount of work. It's going to span 25 different episodes. But you guys know the drill. I'll be back when I got something great to share with you. Again, make sure you like, you subscribe, and you comment. Follow me on Instagram at True Crime Nursery Rhymes, on TikTok and Twitter at TCNR Network, and you can visit my website, truecrimenurseryrhymes.com for my book, True Crime Nursery Rhymes, all of my other fun Scream-inspired merch. And until next time, I'll be right back.